The patient is a 32-year-old female who developed symptoms of Cushing's disease about one and a half years prior to her visit at the pituitary center in a large hospital in mid-Atlantic. After she stopped nursing her baby, she had no resumption of menses. She was told by her gynecologist that she had polycystic ovary syndrome after five successful pregnancies achieved without assistance. She then developed facial hair and acne about six months later. She subsequently developed back pain and was found to have a compression fracture of lumbar spine. She saw a local physician who diagnosed her with Cushing's syndrome. Local testing showed the following results. Laboratory tests showed urine-free cortisol values of 228, 235, 265, and 246. Inferior petrosal sinus sampling was performed, which showed that the pituitary was the source of her Cushing's. Her prior MRI done locally was interpreted as negative per the MRI report. The patient presented to the pituitary clinic with this information. Upon examination, she denied changes in mood, depression, sleep disturbance, or symptoms of sleep apnea. She had not gained weight, which is typical of Cushing's, but she did, it, uh, she did note the redistribution of body fat. She noted enlargement of her abdomen and she continued to have some back pain. She had developed fairly profound muscle weakness and was unable to lift her three-year-old child. Now, what possible regimen the doctor should prescribe to the patient? What are the most prominent features of Cushing's syndrome? And what are the other treatment options? To know answers to these questions, let's study Cushing's syndrome in detail on scaria.com.